Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. And today we're going to teach you a game called Multiplication Ludo. Now, um, to play it, all you need is uh, a regular six-sided dice, uh, four counters of two different colours. Now, we've got blue and pink. Now, I realise a lot of families won't have counters at home, but we've shown in lots of our other videos some of the substitutes for counters. I mean, even as simple as cutting up little pieces of paper, they would work as well. But we're going to use counters today because we've got them. Um, and 120 chart. Now this, I just got this off the internet. I just searched 120 chart and I printed this off. This is an A3 print off and that works better because the boxes are a little bit bigger. And um, the way the game goes is it's basically a race to get your four counters from the one square to the 120 square. Um, so I think the best way to play is to start playing. Now she, do you want to go first? Yeah. So all the counters start on the one square, but obviously we can't fit eight counters there, so we've just got them kind of here at the base. All right, take it away, Natch. So we need to be on the table, darling. Quick, grab it. Roll it again, it's got to be on the table. All right, four. So Natch has got a four, so he's doing four times one. Four. four groups of one is four. Okay, so now I put one of mine on the one square, because we're always starting on the one square. Okay, great. So I got a four. Four groups of one is four. And because I land on Nash's counter, he has to go back to the start. Yes. So remembering the aim of the game is to get all of your guys to the to the end here. All right. Three. Three ones are three. Okay, now I've got two counters on the board. I've got one and I've got four. So whatever I roll now, I can move either one of these counters. So I'm gonna move this. Four ones are four. Now I can have two of my counters on that square, but the danger is if Nash lands on it, they both go back to the start. Give me a one. All right, now hold it, Nash, hold it. So he's got a two, he can move the one, or he can move the three. So Nashy, what's, three. what's two groups of one? Three. What's two groups of three? Six. Beautiful. Six. Whoosh. Whoosh. Okay, four. I'm going to put another one on four. This is dangerous. Don't get a four. Get a four. Okay. So now she's got a two. And uh, twelve. You're going to move the six? Yes. So double six is? Twelve. Beautiful. All right, excellent. Three groups of four is twelve. So I move one of them over here. And I send Nashi back I to the start. Now, if you roll a one, Nashi, what does that mean? You can't do anything. It's basically miss a turn because one, one times one or one times four is going to be the same. Yeah. One, miss a turn. Your turn. Mm -hmm. six. six. Six times one is six. Which? Beautiful. Now, obviously, again, in, in a game like this, obviously this is not pitched at Nash's age groups because as we start to move up here, there's a lot of strategy involved in the game. I'll do this, Nash, I'll be nice. Six fours or 24, I won't send you back to the start. So, for example, 24 is a good number to land on because if I now roll a five, five groups of 24 will get me to 120 exactly and I'll be safe. What would um, what number? Keep, keep playing, keep playing because I want to explain something. Excellent. Five. I've got to go. Okay, so what's five times six? Or six times five? Six. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Beautiful. So thirty is also a good one. Because if Nash now rolls a four, four times thirty would get him to the home and that piece would be safe. Wait, Alright, so hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, so six, six I'm gonna six fours are twenty-four, I'm gonna put that there. Yeah. What, what did I have to roll to get there? Keep rolling, we'll see what, we'll see what comes up. Uh, well, I wanted to use the magic thing. Four. You're going to give me a four. Okay, so Nash, now let's check. Four times 30. So 30 plus 30 is. 60. And then another 30 would be. 90. And then another 30 would be. 120. So because you got to 120 exactly, this piece is now safe. And he goes to the base. Yeah. Now, can I just put it back here, Nash, just to show you something? If you had a roll to five, five thirties are 150. Now, if you go over 120, you have to go back to the start. 
Okay, but you got to 120, so you've got one piece in the base, you're safe. Yay! Beautiful, I've got a five, that, I've got a five. Five times 24 is 120, so that there goes to the base, okay? Okay, so we've fast forwarded a little bit. Now I've got three guys to my base, now she's got one, and I'm on my last person. So I, he's on 24, and I've just rolled a six. Now obviously six groups of 24 is going to be ahead, he's going to be over 120. So again, when you play this the first time with someone, it's good to actually work out what six groups of 24 are, but for the purpose of today, we're going to speed things along. I know that six groups of 20 would be 120, so six groups of 24 is going to be more. So because I've gone over 120, this guy goes all the way back to the start. No, you have to end up with your second, so I don't, so that's, this is not on the board. Your turn. Four. So where are you going to move? That one. What's, right. Actually, no. no. Okay, that one it's not seven. four plus four. It's four times four. Four times four. Four groups of four. It's sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-four. No. Four groups of four. So think about each one of those as a group of four. So four. four eight, eight. Sixteen. Yep. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, we'll do that one to 16. No, this one to 16, four oh. to four. Oh. Just move it, Nani. We haven't got all day. All right, miss your turn. <laughs> okay, so we fast forward it again. I've got three in my base, now she's got two, and Nash has just rolled a five. Now again, Nash doesn't know the calculations of this, I've just told him, and so this is about the right age for this game, and this is probably not the right age, but now she five groups of 24 is? Uh -huh. Okay, so now we've both got three people home. Now, Nash and I have made up our own rule. When we both get down to one counter, which is on now, you are now allowed to pass. So if you roll a number you don't like that you think it's going to bust you, you can pass and say you just miss your turn. So we'll have a few turns, Nash. So five, five ones are five. You're on two. Two fours. Yeah. Eight. Uh, Four fives is 20, I'll have that, that's a good one. Yeah, Miss a turn. Miss a turn. Now, oh, let's, okay, six, I'm gonna win. Let's pretend I rolled a five. So five lots of 20 would put me on 100, yeah? yeah. Now I don't wanna get on 100 because the next turn I would bust. So if I had rolled a six, I, if I had rolled a five, I could actually, Opt to pass. So I'm going to say, I pass, I don't want to have my turn, and it goes over to Nash. So, Nash, do you know what six eights are? No. Six eights are 48. So, do you want to go to 48 or do you want to pass? Passing. Okay. And we keep going, oh, six twenties, 120. I got my people home first, I win. So, again, the target age is not grade one. This would be a game for sort of grade fours, five, sixes. But there's lots and lots of strategy involved while you play. The best way to explore that strategy is to play and figure things out for yourselves as you go. There are numbers that you want to end up on. There are numbers in here that you don't want to end up on. But the best way to do that is just play and discover. I want to do something. Hold on. We're just going to say goodbye. Okay. Thank you very much for tuning in. We hope you enjoy playing it. And we'll see you next time.